Ah, uh, just setting things up for your interview. Oh, thanks, Terry. You know, uh, it seems so strange. When it was only a few years ago, I was stood on some street corner looking for trade. Oh, and now you've got the power of life and death over folk. Comes with being a Tate. Gonna take some getting used to. I mean, what do I do if I find one of my old clients amongst the candidates? Well, just enjoy uh, putting him in his place. Seems to me like you've taken to this boss business like a duck to water. Yeah, maybe. I'm still the same person inside, though. Well, another few years of five-star hotels will cure that. Yeah, reckon I've earned them. Anyway, that's the list of candidates. First one's due at 12, and will you get Cynthia to make him a cup of coffee while they're waiting, if I'm not back by then? Where are you off to? Have you spotted another business? Going to make another takeover bid? No, just paying off my gambling debts. I lost a bet to Chloe yesterday. You see, Terry, I haven't changed that much. <laughs> ah, good morning, sir. And what uh, can I do for you? Full service, cleaner inside and out. Very good, sir. Can give me your keys? I need it back this afternoon. Not a problem. I'll have her ready for you. Not very busy, then. Still, I can't imagine there's a lot of work for a garage in a village this size. Oh, we do all right, thank you. <laughs> no need to get defensive. I was just thinking I might be able to throw the odd bit of work your way. Anyway, see you about five. Well, he's got three houses. Maybe he's got a car for each. <laughs> or maybe he just likes muscling in on local businesses. I mean, you know he tried to get in Chris's way over the older village? And outbid him on the farmhouse. And then he tried to buy and to take trash. <laughs> Busy man. <laughs> Yeah, well, we decided we were better off without him. Yeah, well, you and Chris are rich enough to be picky about who you do business with, but uh, <laughs> we're not. Well, here are. Chloe's certainly a ton of better off anyway. Tell her that's the winnings from yesterday's bet. What was the bet for? Oh, I think you better ask her about that. I must get going. I've got managers to interview. See ya. Right. Well, I don't think we need to waste any more of your time or ours. Our estate manager will need to deal with a lot of important clients, and quite frankly, you're not the calibre of applicant we're looking for. Thank you. Bit hard on him, weren't you? Yeah, well, he used to run a country house hotel near Arrogate and he were dead snobby. He had me thrown out of the bar with a load of snide remarks about single women. Well, revenge is sweet, but we still need the manager. Ready for the next one? Yes, yeah, show him in, please. Brian Adiman. Hey, you were quite impressed with his CV. Well, let's just hope he doesn't strike any warning bells from your past. Good afternoon, Mr. Adderman. Hi, yeah. Uh, please, take a seat. So, what makes you think you're right for the job? Well, until very recently, I was running my own business. Just looking for someone who can deal with tenant farmers and collect rents. We need an estate manager who can show some initiative. Well, then I'm your man. I know all about maximising profits, and you can trust me to keep coming up with ideas. Good answer. I mean, the country's part of the leisure industry now, and there's plenty of opportunities to build on that home farm. <laughs> Have the um, interviews finished? Yeah, well, they're in with the last one now. What can I do you for, Jack? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have come. Well, I can't make any promises, Mr. Edelman, but I can tell you that we were both very impressed. So we'll talk it over and give you a decision by the end of today. Thank you very much, Mrs. Tate. All right. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I was thinking of applying for the job, but uh, looks like I'm too late. Oh, we couldn't turn someone away with your experience. I'm sure Chris will be delighted to see you. Jack, you're more qualified for the job than anyone else we could find. I just can't imagine why you're applying for it. I can't remember us agreeing on anything. I mean, what makes you think you can forget all that and, and start taking orders from me now? Maybe this is the wrong way to approach the interview. No, Chris is right. It needs sorting now. Look, I'm looking for work, and I know I can do the job. Unless you're just looking for a yes man. The Tate vision of the Dales has always been holiday parks and petting zoos. Yeah, but maybe if you'd taken more notice of it, you wouldn't have lost your farm. Oh, I've made mistakes. I admit it. There's got to be change. 
But that doesn't mean you throw away everything that's traditional. There's still a proper place for farming. People are always going to need to eat. You're not really here for the job. Just another chance to lecture me. Depends whether you're ready to admit that you and Frank made a few mistakes too. You've had the whole village against you enough times. Well, yeah, and most of the time it was you stirring them up. Yeah, but maybe, if we work together, we could get the best of both worlds. Well, you've given us a lot to think about, Jack. Maybe it'd be best if me and Chris discussed it between us first before we made a decision. Well, I thought Brian Adamem was ideal. A bit too cocky for my liking. Right, OK, then, let's discuss Jack Sugden. Oh, Chris, I'm going to have to teach you to look at things in a new way. I mean, be honest. You thought I handled the refuse contract all wrong, didn't you? But I still got a result. Maybe it'd be the same with Jack Sugden. Out of the question. If you hadn't interrupted me, I'd have told him so at the interview. Well, he knows more about the land than anybody else we could get. He knows how things were. He lives in the past. Plus, he hates me. Well, I still think we could use some of his ideas. And people trust him more than you and me. I, I think that could be very useful. You think we could get him to tow the company line? I can be very persuasive. You know that. Come on, give him a chance. You can have the pleasure of sacking him later if I'm wrong. How did the interviews go? Oh, I'm not really sure. Chris said he'll talk to my choice later. And if they come to blows, well, I'll know I've got it wrong. Oh, you mean High Life's got its downside, then? Yeah. Well, I had a great time yesterday. I thought it was always like that. You were certainly popular with the blokes. Uh, I gave Scott your winnings. Oh, I hope you didn't tell me about the bet. What's the problem? He gets jealous. You know, blokes, thinks I'll meet someone who'll take me away from him. Yeah, well, there must have been half a dozen who would give him half a chance. Oh, you didn't tell him that, did you? Relax. I didn't even tell him what the bet was about. All you've got to do is come up with a good cover story. Mind you, if any of them's keen enough to phone, it might make it harder. Hmm. <laughs> Just come up with a good cover story. Mind you, if any of them's keen enough to phone, it might make it harder. <clears throat> so where did the interview go? Really well. I reckon I'd be home and dry if Jack sucked him that stuff in Lauren. To be honest, I wouldn't even have come if Diana had persuaded me. Well, I'll be honest as well. I would have said no straight away if charity hadn't taught me out of it. <laughs> Women eh? can't stop me interfering. Well, let's surprise them by not fighting about it. We'll just have a pleasant drink and agree that we could never work together. Sounds good to me. Oh, uh, scotch and uh, pint for Jack, please, Trish. Coming up. As you're even thinking of getting a job, by the time you sold off all your land, you'll probably have enough to retire. <laughs> Don't know about that. Besides, sitting around the Woolpack all day playing dominoes isn't my idea of fun. You're richer than I'll ever be. Never seems to have crossed your mind. What, retire? I feel like I'm only just getting started. Well, I guess I've got charity to thank for that. People always said that I'd never be half the man my father was. I guess I believed it once, but not anymore. Look, I've got the, the holiday village back, the haulage yard, and there's, there's Tate trash too. I mean, the company is bigger than he ever dreamed about. I won't be stopping there. You've got plans then? You don't get anywhere by standing still. Look, I know you hate big business, Jack, but it's got to be better than watching this, this village die on its feet. Things aren't that bad yet. Aren't they? You've already got weekenders pushing up prices. If local kids can't afford anywhere to live and can't get a job, then they move out. I reckon Robert's already thinking like that. Look, if we sit back and watch it happen, it'll be just retired folk drinking in here Monday to Friday, dreaming of the way things used to be. Maybe we should talk about these plans of yours. 